Yeah, so my name is Laura Santori. Um, I'm a senior, class of 2021, and I'm a neuroscience and studio art double major. Um, so I predominantly work with oil painting on like traditional stretched canvas. Um, a couple of my pieces are like digital, so I use like um, Procreate on the iPad for some of those, but mostly oil. Oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. Are you going to include any digital stuff in the show? Yeah, I think uh, I have two prints over here that oh, I Oh, great. Really oh, my God. Like. I thought those were photographs. <laughs> That's, so <laughs> That's what they said to critique, too. Yeah. That's funny. Is everything here, like, do you anticipate including a lot of the work on the walls here in um, the show? Yeah, I'm thinking mostly just not all of these ones, but um, for the most part, these and where, that one as well. And, like, I'm working on this one right here. Mm -hmm. And also, I have that on um, large canvas stretcher open back over there that I yeah. want to do but mostly I'm just I think I'm gonna stick to like the paintings mm -hmm. cool. uh, I think visually definitely I like to go for like kind of those vibrant more whimsical um, landscapes um, they kind of come from different sources of inspiration whether it's like my dreams or my imagination or certain memories or feelings that I hold on to they're all kind of based on something like related to me but um, it's very important that I like build these kind of almost believable false spaces mm -hmm. that I want people to like kind of step into, I guess. I'll come up with like an idea like, oh, sometimes like I'm feeling isolated for this one. Like I want to be in like kind of in a desert and kind of somewhere stranded. So like I'll kind of latch onto something like that. And then um, I'll maybe I'll look at like a couple dozen like different reference photos of something I want to do and kind of compile it all together. And then I spend a while like making the compositions and making like thumbnail sketches mm -hmm. and then kind of transferring that over. So it's kind of a very like intricate process for me, like a more of a personal one, I guess. Love, love, love Dolly's work. That's actually one of the reasons why I want to do that like 96 inch piece one because I remember like standing in front of a lot of his like huge, yeah. huge pieces and just like the, the scale of it really like wowed me. So like that's something I really want to do too but I also I like to kind of incorporate little bizarre or absurd things I guess into my own hi Laura hi. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for being here so the work is done now or mostly done I know you have one piece that you're still working on mm -hmm. yeah. um, but I guess I'm just wondering how you feel about everything. Like, do you think it was a success? Are you happy with how everything turned out? Yeah, I think I'm actually pretty happy with everything that I have. Um, I'm glad that I can show work that I've done like from other years too, and kind of have everything together. Because I think when you look at like, I, like look at my works collectively, it kind of changes what you think of it. So I feel like it's important that I now have it quite finalized and like with the artist statement explaining everything. Like I feel good about it. Um, yeah, I definitely, like, want to continue, I guess, kind of in the same vein of what I'm doing. Like, I just, I'm enjoying it still, so I'm going to keep doing it, I think. Like, working with those landscapes and kind of, like, fantasy elements, that's really what I've been enjoying. What piece is your favorite that you put in? Um, I think probably this one, the one with the skeleton, mm -hmm. um, that one. I was really happy with how it came out with the brush marks, but also just it means a lot to me, so I'm really happy with it. Do you want to share a little bit about that one conceptually, if you're open to it? Yeah, so I kind of came up with that like uh, a few months ago, I think, um, and it was when I was going through like a lot of different health issues and stuff, and so I was just kind of feeling very weak and like not at my best self, and so I kind of wanted to translate that into my work because sometimes a lot, I don't really like bring up more of like the personal side of what I do. I just like people to like take it for what it is. But um, yeah, this one I guess just was had a special process in it for me. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, excited to see what you're <laughs> next. Thank you. Um, but yeah, you're all good.